In September 2019, among reforms initiated by state government is the immediate commencement of building and reconstructions of schools across the state, Emad complementing the free education policy introduced. However, three years after the pronouncement of the policy, schools, especially in the state capital, are not doing well. This is a GDS's Dobeli exams hall, where Free Waik and Neko used to be hall. Some of the schools visited classes were not in good condition, as they are either leaking or without doors, windows and chairs, a situation that forced students to sit on the floor, while some pupils are disengaging. I am 14 years old and I am not in school. Although I have finished my primary school last year, that is why I engage myself into this scavenging job. If enrolled, I will continue with my education. I have never been to school because my parents are poor. I know they cannot afford to my school. That is why I concentrated in this business to support them and my younger ones. The schools here are not free because they are still asked us to pay school fees. The story of this school is similar to other schools. The Adama State government is paying Waik and Nico, that's all. But apart from that, there is nothing on ground. I'm talking to you now, I am a teacher. And in my school and most of schools in the Met Uyola Met metropolis, there are no chairs for students to sit. The situation is very pathetic. However, stakeholders say the present government is doing better, especially in the areas of free education, school feeding program, teacher welfare, and employment. The present government took education as a serious business. NECO and WAEK is being paid, and uh, no child now is paying anything in the school. That is a moral booster. Yeah, and that's why some people will want to leave the private school in order to come to government school. Meanwhile, on a different note, some university students explain how are they coping with the strike. We're still hoping. Maybe they will call us. Every month we hope for calling. They are not calling. Every month they are not calling. The federal government imagine saying that they don't know that us are on strike. No, this is not the education we need for Nigeria. Just passing by, I saw some group of violence. Meanwhile, from the men looking, most 80% are youths. 80% of them are youths. They are engaging in so many violent activities. Then I said in my mind, had you been, we were in school, it will not lead to such activities. With no possible solution to the strike, educationists are worried that the already dwindling education system may even go worse. Silas Lewin, Trust TV News, Yola.